So, by and rough, it goes like this. Uh, you know, I'm with the guys from me, Moonstone. You know, he says, uh, cheap, cheap, uh, dollar kilo, but the problem is it's scrap, right? You can tell by all the saw marks, all the cut saw marks. So this is what they're throwing away. It's, he's just trying to get a dollar. I can't do much, I can't do much with it. Um, you can make chip beads, right? Tumble it, you get an ultrasonic drill, make some chip beads, that's about it for that. Uh, I'm getting a price on a drum of bumblebee from him. Uh, also some Australian uh, agate. It shows me some labradorite too, but I look at you know shipping costs to bring the labradorite back because uh, Madagascar I can buy that in Tucson um, for a lot cheaper, and I pay less shipping costs when I put it on a pallet there to Canada because it's free trade. Um, I think that's fossil wood or something. Some other stuff I'm looking for on my list. So I go through through bags. I can uh, pick up stuff like like smoky. Well, smoky quartz here, so I'm probably taking this bucket, and I'm gonna I got a project for those. Uh, some stuff you can buy already slabbed, so this might be a uh, wasted slabs, or it could be that they just never got around to cutting it, but they slabbed it all up for me. I save a lot of time on slabbing if I just buy it already slabbed, so that's carnelian. But most of the carnelian in Asia is heat treated. Um, this is a this is a sorting room, so I can. I love, I love how they write it. Uh, peanut wood, pr I think pretty much everything is written wrong. Uh, dendritic, um, chrysocolla, uh, pedasite. So these are all cab, cab bins that I can look through, uh, finished cabs. Um, hello. But they do a sorting room here. Uh, and bagging, so they're ba essentially bagging and tagging, cataloging, um, checking, so they might do standards quality checks here too, uh, looking at, uh, what do we got here, neck pieces, stuff like that all made up for other orders, some of this they're just making all the time, um, pack, packing, uh, plating, uh, packing material, I love, I love their labels, um, so more rough, a lot of this is, uh, so, so I want to buy a facet aquamarine rough, um, but the problem is you got to look at what you're using it for. So I'm in a silversmithing factory, so all the chippets they're using, they're doing, you know, it's really, really uh, fashionable right now to use a chippet like that. You set it in a cloth setting on top of a, a ring, like as a, as a rough stone. So they're using a lot of that nowadays, making that jewelry. So a lot of this is facet gray, but it's too small. I can get the same price on bigger, bigger stuff because they bought it for a certain reason. So you gotta understand what projects they're making to understand why they have the stock they do, and then you can bargain based on it. Um, so I mean, normally, normally you only stick to to what you're doing. Like if you're getting silversmith work done, you do that in a silversmith factory. If you're doing stone brokering, you go only through a stone broker. If uh, if you're doing cutting, you go to a cutting factory. But sometimes you spot things up on the shelf, like a brick of charlotte or a brick of peter site. Yeah, it's the price and kind of go from there because some of it just gets squirreled away for years. Um, more and more rough. This isn't, this isn't even the storage, right? This is just like overflow from the storage room. So, so I'll show you some more, uh, some more storage barrel rooms, but um, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff here. Um, when you buy rough here, let me get another video going for you. So when you buy rough in, uh, in India, um, you gotta remember, it's a production facility, or sorry, production city, uh, one of the gem capitals of the world, estimated 80% of the cabs in the world are made here, which means that these companies are buying the rough by the shipping container, and, uh, and they don't need huge profit margins, right, because, uh, because, of, you know, average daily labor costs here are, you know, mass, Master Goldsmith might cost $8 US, uh, for a, for a day, uh, like a 12 hour work day. So their profit margins can be a lot lower than what you'd buy that at Tucson or something. And again, they buy the quantities that already put a, put a bottom line price on it. Um, but then your shipping costs to get it back, you gotta look at that. So if you're buying a lot of cheap stone in bulk, you're paying a lot for shipping, right? And that may make it not worth it. But if you buy high end or something worthwhile, then you get your bang for your buck. So, again, drums are rough, uh, 
I've already been through it, but that's that's one of the storage rooms. So behind that door is, is a lot more rough that I've already picked through and I didn't do a video for you guys. 